disaster just minutes after takeoff. Here in Little Rock, officials are trying to put the pieces together and figure out why a plane crash killing all five people on board. THV 11's Rolly Hoyt is live at the scene and Rolly, what do we know tonight? Well, Craig and Faith, it seems like for the past six weeks, every Wednesday, we've reported on a serious weather event affecting a large part of the state. This weather event today appears to have raced across the region and left quickly. And while we don't yet know definitively what caused this private plane to crash here south of Clinton National, it does appear that today's high winds arrived with awful timing for the five victims. Uh, shortly before noon uh, today, a small aircraft was taking off from Little Rock Airport. Uh, it got within a mile of the airport and it crashed uh, out here shortly before you get to the 3M plant. The bare bones information just a short time after the crash filled in as the day progressed. The small plane, a Beechcraft B200, owned by CTEH of North Little Rock. The passengers and pilot, all employees of that environmental consulting company. The team on their way to help the cleanup after a deadly explosion at a metal plant in Ohio. The plane took off right at noon, apparently heading southwest. At that time, a violent and fast moving wind field swept across central Arkansas. About two minutes into the flight, the plane went down, crashing in a rugged area very near the plant where 3M makes roofing materials. A short distance left or right and it would have come down in the College Station community. But when first responders arrived, the fire and debris made it clear no one could have survived. Now comes the investigation. The National Transportation Safety Board arrives Thursday morning. That starts the process of documenting the scene and examining the evidence. Now it's not yet clear when the we'll start uh, hauling out parts of the plane from this 3M plant. What is clear, the FAA expects to have a preliminary incident report available as early as tomorrow. As for the NTSB's more definitive findings, those could take months, possibly years. Craig? Rolly, how close was this to a residential area? Craig, it's a very short drive down uh, what they call 3M Road and College Station Elementary is, I would say, less than a mile away. That's a, a small little community there here in Pulaski County. Uh, similar apartment complexes just in that direction. This is a part of the, the state, the city that's used to planes coming in and out of here, but there was definitely different sounds and different feelings earlier this afternoon. And there's the feeling if, in watching this, if they had just waited, is that the sense you get from talking to officials? Not only talking to officials, uh, but also talking to uh, pilots. Uh, our Sarah Habakowitz talked to some folks in the general aviation uh, industry a little bit earlier today. And they're familiar with this aircraft. And again, we don't want to place blame yet. There's still a lot of investigating to do here. But it just seemed like those storms, we all went through them today around lunchtime. It, it just it came through so quickly, it seems remarkable to even think about trying to take off in weather like that. All right, Rowley, thank you. A frustrating part of the storms that hit central Arkansas. Thank you for your reporting on this tragic day for those people on that plane.